Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Yep. Now it's time to go get the last piece of heart, and then we can go get the last piece of the Triforce. Now this last piece of heart, which I was confused with why I was missing, still missing one, is extremely obscure, and that's why I haven't got it. So, I, I could understand playing through this game many, many times and never finding this one. Because it's just so random what you need to do to find it. It's fairly random at least, so... It's random enough to not know that this is how you're supposed to, do it, do, to get it without looking it up. So, we need to go to Rock Spire. Already a strange decision. But then, once we get close enough, I'm not sure... I think it might actually be over here. If we are in the right square. Ah! Because I believe one of these two gunboats, once we have destroyed them, has the piece of heart. I have no idea how you would know this otherwise. I guess if you use the heart pieces chart, you might be able to figure it out, but also you'd have to keep track of every single piece of heart that you've collected already. And which one which squares you've completed, so. There it is. How would you even possibly I don't know. Anyway, that's everything in the game that we needed to collect. Now I just have to, uh... Hang on. Have to wait 2 minutes 50 sec 51 seconds before I can get rid of that water, so... Let's go get the last piece of the Triforce. So let's head over to... I think probably... Tower of the Gods is probably the closest point. So let's do that. Okay, we need to go south to the cabana. Cabana? I don't know how to pronounce it. And then we need to go in there. Since we needed to get plenty of joy pendants to even get in there at all, so... I hope I've done everything possible. I think there's possibly a few platforms or something random like that that I haven't done yet. But it's not necessary, so... Don't need to worry about it. Now let's get out of here. And... Take a look at this place. Because we know that I'm pretty sure we know that we can't get in here otherwise. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. Ahem, this cabana belongs to ma the master, and the master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel. Away with you, away I say. Well, what do you say if I get out the deed to this place? Ew, unclean, most foul, don't lay those grimy hands. What? Wait, this, that, that, that's... Why, that's the... Are you... Are you the new master? Are you Master Link? Ah, I am so pleased to hear that name. Master Link. Please be gentle on this fine door. So now we can turn his hand and open the door. And go in. <laughs> we can see he's on, on the other side of the door as well. Anyway... There is actually a minigame here with a sliding puzzle if we wanted to do that. But I don't think I will right now if I am going to do it. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Instead, I'm going to steal all the money I possibly can in here. Because obviously I need to do that. Break the pots, get all this. And then break these pots as well. Come on. Away and grab all these. So much rupees. 
But then we also need to swing on this thing up here, which looks very much like Valu's tail. Which turns off the fireplace. So now we can go into this hole over here that's just been in the fireplace for some reason. Anyway, here we are in this little sewer, I guess. So let's look around, and this is a bit maze-like in its design, but it's not that complicated. Now, I think I need to go through this hole here, I believe. So let's do that. Can I? First person. Oh, I don't know which way to go. Ah, uh, turning is difficult. It's fine, let's go this way. I think there's actually a few places to get treasure in here, actually. Not that we need any of it, since it's all optional at this point. Very nice. I guess we can collect rupees to use the magic armor, since that will use up rupees as we use it. I'm pretty sure the magic armor, once you you start using it, means you can't get hit as long as you've got as long as you've got red rupees. Um, let's just go straight ahead. There's also rats in here, so they'll try to steal my rupees if I go the wrong way. What was that? I don't know, but I, I'm in here now, so I can get out my skull hammer and open up a few more paths. And also a shortcut back, because I believe one of these are is a shortcut back. Okay. That's a that's the one that goes back, so I need to go this way. Except I feel like there's something I missed in that hole there, so I'm going to go back down here and try to find that. Put away. Crouch. There we go. Let's go down more side tunnels. Because that's always fun. Don't think there's anything that bad with going the wrong way in here, so... Just a lot of rupees. This place is full with rupees, apparently. Because the inside of the shack has rupees. Down here there's rupees, just rupees everywhere. Let's keep going back through here. I did see another way over here to go through. I guess there's also the other tunnel that I didn't even check back at the start of this little maze. Oh, is this actually leading back to there? It is, isn't it? Yeah. So was there anything else that I missed? I don't think so then. I think that's just everything. Yeah, that is. Cool. Okay, so I, I'm just crazy then. I thought there was more down here. Oh well. Let's try somewhere else then. Okay. So this way, I believe. Yes. Down this hole. Need to avoid the rats. Put away, please. Thank you. Grab that yellow rupee. And let's check what's over here. I can hear something. Enemy nearby or something. Probably the rats. Oh, hello. I missed. It's fine. Get rid of you. Give me your rupee. Single rupee. Okay, I think we are getting close to being done with in here. Let me just hit this switch, please. If I can target it properly. I don't think I can go that way, can I? No. This is just a sh shortcut? I'm so confused now. Yes, this is a shortcut. I'm extremely confused at where I am now. Am I? Where am I? I'm so confused. Let's drop in this hole. And there's a... Redead in here to take out, so let's do that. More pots. Oh, there's another redead! How did that not scream at me? Oh my goodness. I screamed at it, though. <laughs> kind of. Now, does that... No, okay. Gives me rupees, though. Take those. 
I just turn around, there's another redead. Let's crawl through here. I guess those were the enemies that were making the music do its thing. But anyway, I think we're done in here. Nope, there's the rats. But here we have another one of these, so let's do the Wind Requiem. And there it is. You got a trifle shard. That's all of them. At last, you found the last shard. Fused together, all eight form the Triforce of Courage. So now, if we go in our inventory and check that out. Look at it. It's complete with cracks in it and all. It's fine. Ah, uh, the water's run out, finally. Of time. So we can deal with that now. This place is still confusing my brain. Especially when I go this way. Oh, because that link's over there, and that, all that. This place really is confusing, wow. But then, did I go down? I, I did go down every tunnel, I think. Probably. Let's go get out of here before I confuse myself anymore. And I'm guessing that these aren't going to give me more rupees, right? Yeah. It just gives you them once. Okay, then. Well done, Link. With the shards you have collected, the Trifles of Courage is now complete at last. We must make for Hyrule quickly. Probably a good time to save. <laughs> let's just do that. No, I don't want to quit, so let's continue. And let's also switch this screen back so I can be ready. I might even get my Hero's Charm equipped, which does also work on bosses if you have that done, but the by the time you get it, you've probably defeated all the other, all of the bosses, so. Anyway, let's head north. Oh, I guess I was going to try and get something else in my bottle, but that's fine. Ah, uh, no, I have to. I have to put something in it, so let's go southern fairy island. Since we can teleport to a fairy island, it might as well. We have to make sure we are absolutely prepared for everything going ahead of us. Because we're not really gonna need to come back afterwards, so. Hey fairies, I've got some water for your, your fountain. Let me just dump that in there for you. Just raise the water level by a little bit. Let's grab one of you. There we go. And of course, I can't just leave these fairies here. I have to take them all with me. In spirit. But anyway, there we go. And... Let's go. Where's my boat now? It always confuses me after going inside of a fairy fountain room. And or cave. And let's head over to the Tower of the Gods. Oh, 
Here we are. Let's just sail in. Well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. Oh, what is this? There, on your hand, the Triforce piece now dwells within you. It is the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, now near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. Link, Hero of Winds. Go forth. To Hyrule. To Zelda's aid. To say side. Close enough. Okay. We can still leave by the light ring, of course, and go back, come back down here if we need to. But here we go. Oh, the statue's broken now. Let's head down to see Zelda. You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I ta have taken your pre precious Zelda. And here you shall fall into eternal slumber. And now it's time to fight the toughest of the Dark Nuts once again. Pretty sure we fought them already once in the Savage Labyrinth. Just need to be very extra careful to take out their armor and all that. Come on. Let's do some good damage. Ow. Let's take you out, please. They have got a lot of health. Come on, that's one. Just one more. And with it, there we go. Just grab a few extra things. Oh, Knight's Crest is not really where I want to reach it right now, so I'm just going to leave it since we don't need it anyway. At this point, we're too too strong to even really care, I guess. This barrier is gone. And now... Out here... We have an even bigger barrier all around Hyrule Castle. Let me just quickly take off the hero's charm. I might be switching back and forth between having it on and off. But anyway, let's we'll slash at the barrier, because if we touch it, it will just knock us back. And there we go.
Let's go forth. I'm gonna encounter a few enemies along the way, but we can ignore them for the most part, probably. As we head in this direction. <laughs> There's a good number of enemies here. Let's take you out, just because I feel like he's going to be more annoying if I don't. Also shows how strong we are now, so. Let's head on up. Another Dark Nut. A red one. Take its armor off. And there we go. Again, we don't have to fight the enemies, we just need to get past them. I see those keys there. Kind of just gonna... Just kind of feel like... No, oh, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Let's just... Rush past them then. And ignore them. And let's head in. Ganon's Tower. Can't progress any further just yet, so we have to go one of the four paths that are open up to us right now. So, guess we can do whatever we want. But we, I think I might go in the order I feel is correct, I guess. Now, I think we have everything we need pretty much. Just need the leaf on X. Let's go through here. Man, I love the Ganon's Tower theme, and I always will. Okay. Let's swing as best we can through here, avoiding bubbles because there are fire ones around here. No, oh, I missed. That's not good. I think there are a few ways to also get through this room, but I'm just going to do the swinging way, I guess. Okay. And obviously this place is based off of, loosely based off of, Dragon Roost Cavern. Okay, stop swinging, please. Let's head up. I guess you can also use the water pots, possibly, to use the... the lava... spies. Anyway, let's jump off here and sail across. And now let's go through this door surrounded by black and white-ish or desaturated area. And now, at the end of here, we have a familiar looking face. We only have the stuff that we would have had at the time of fighting this particular enemy. Because we need to refight Goma. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Or Fire Lava go Goma. Something like that. Let's get across there. I like the whole black and white slash desaturated moment, like revisiting a moment in time refight. That whole concept is just really cool to me. Okay, swing again. Very good. Just need to swing one more time and then we get to the main fight part of the main, main, I just words are hard sometimes. Main part of the fight. And we'll go by a lot faster since we have the fully upgraded Master Sword with us. To just show how much stronger we are compared to this boss. There we go. Now to absolutely destroy. Okay. 
grappling hook, and we are done, question mark? Hang on, let me just do it again. There we go. For defeating it, everything goes to white, and we're teleported, teleported back to the main room. Here we go. Let's head on through this path now. And this place is based off of the... What's it called? What's it called? <laughs> you know, the what's it called? Uh, the Forbidden Woods part of the world. Let's go through here. Now I need to be a little bit more careful jumping to this platform, I think. Let's wait for it to go down. Okay. Let's hit that thing there, please. Nope, I missed. Have to wait for it to go back down. Okay, there we go. And let's see if I can make that jump work. There we go. Need to make sure we have plenty of magic on hand, and let's get out our boomerang, because we can probably guess what's up ahead. Oh, please catch me, oh, please catch me, oh, please catch me. Don't go up too fast. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. I think some of the things that we can break with our sword around here will have magic refills for us, which is quite nice. Thank you. And also health, because we need it, so. Let's go into here. Again, desaturated slash black and white, depending on what version you play. We get to refight this boss, and of course it dequips everything for us, because that's useful. I don't know what this boss is called. Oh my goodness, please. Don't cancel out. Cut all of its roots in the ceiling. Here we go, and let's do some major damage if we can, please. And one cycle it. Just like that. So we have to fight the four bosses we've had to fight to get up to this point. Not including the Forsaken Fortress. Just the main regular dungeons, I guess. Uh, I think I want to go this way first. Next. So let's do that. Now this room is a little bit more annoying than the rest, I would say. Just need to roll through here. All of these coffins opening up. And now for the really annoying part. Go through here. But these stairs aren't open. So, let's head back this way. And there are a few dark chews that we need to bring with us. Somewhat. Because if we can get them a little bit closer, that'd be nice. Except they're really slow. Can't seem to aim very well. There we go. If we take one as in stone form and put it on the switch, which will only last as long as something's holding it down, that'll open up the stairs for us. So let's go quickly. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, no. As long as we get onto the first step, we don't have to worry, so. But yeah, that is timed because we have to put the thing on it, so. Now this is about the same. Except the light's on that end. So we're going to have to be as quick as we possibly can be. Make sure that this would work properly. Okay, good. Just go fast. Let's put this on the switch. It opens up the stairs, and let's go. Oh, also Stalfos. Just go past it, and we can ignore it, as long as we're on the stairs, and we're good. Okay, let's go in. Time to fight Jalhalla. Let's get out 
Uh, bow, and I think that's the only thing we really need. Except maybe if I have the iron boots, I think that possibly means that when he's blowing me around, I can actually stay still, possibly. I haven't tried that before. But I will now, so... Let's do that. Just want to make sure that my arrows are set to... I think ice work fine. So let's pick you up and roll you into that thing there. Please. Hit them. Thank you. Now I think that worked out fairly well for the first loop. And we've had two sword upgrades since we last fought Jahala. Oh. <laughs> it's waiting for the ghost that wasn't there. That's funny. That's fine. This is fine. This is fine. Let me put on my iron boots and see if that works out. It kind of does, but also... Oh my goodness. also slows me down a lot and m makes me vulnerable to his fire. Oh, please. Thank you. So that is actually a fairly good strategy to use those. Also, I might switch to fire and see how that works against these ghosts. These pose. Very nice. That's three. I think. I hope. Come on. Hit them. Thank you. Oh my goodness, did they just get that in time? I think they did. That's unfortunate for me. Okay. Round three. Very nice. Iron boots are very helpful for that. I wasn't expecting that to work out as well as it is. Okay. Set. Oh my goodness, of course you go back as soon as I kill one. Because I missed the phase by one. And I set one on fire as well, so that's just great timing. Oh boy. That's not good. Ow. Please. Oh, light went away. Of course it did. He likes to do that as soon as you get to it. Oh my goodness, please. No. Oh, of course it did again. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Also, if you're facing the direction of one of the things you want to hit, I think you can actually probably just roll them into any wall and it'll probably work the same. Anyway. Come on, let me hit these two at the same time, please. Nope. Just leaving one, of course. Which I'm not going to get to in time. Oh, my... Ah! Just one. It hurts every single time. It's fairly common though, so I probably shouldn't be that upset. Please, 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 thank you. That was close. Let's roll you away. Let's get this last one. There we go. Only one more boss left, but I think, for now, that is it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.